right guys, I'm out here in Farmersville, Texas, which is about an hour northeast of Dallas. I'm here to check out the Northeast Texas Trail. It's also known as the Net for short for this. It's basically a hiking, biking trail that extends from Farmersville all the way out to near the Arkansas, Texas border. That's about 130 miles long. By the time it's done, it should be the fourth or fifth longest trail system in the US. Right now, it's the largest in the state of Texas, but parts of it is not completed. So we're gonna start off here in Farmersville. We're about a mile or two, it's paved, and then goes on to kind of the sand, dirt type of terrain, and then goes all the way out to Merritt. Now, the cool thing about this trail is just about every five, 10 miles, there's a city. Stop at a city, dine, lodge, whatever you want. Mostly hikers and bikers use it. Some people will take the train and go all the way out to uh, Texarkana, which I believe that's where the other trail is, and just come back from there. So the cool thing about this is it's just a little hidden. There's not a lot of traffic. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, so one thing I forgot to mention about the Net Trail is a little historical background about it. It was built as a railroad track about 150 years ago. And then since they weren't using it as much, they decided to decommission it and basically turn it into the trail that you see today, which is the hiking biking trail. Like I said earlier, it's not complete. When is it going to be complete? No one really knows. It's a whole budget thing, but there's a, there's a lot of historical value behind it. So definitely check it out. entrance with a big sign that says hidden entrance. I'm not sure if that's how it works. But, uh, oh, okay. Okay, so I'm really close to the uh, city of Merritt, which is the next city over from Farmersville. But uh, as you can see, it's uh, kind of rough and crummy for my ride here. So I guess it ends right here about four miles outside of Farmersville. Yeah, it's, it's really rough and I really don't feel like going through the effort of trying to stay on my board during this. So I'm gonna turn back.
with part of the trail here. I went almost up to Merritt, but as you can see, the trail was pretty rough and, you know, a board without binders, it's kind of hard to do off-road. But on the sand and dirt, it did really well. You just got to be very alert on the terrain because there are some soft patches and as you can see here I kind of slipped and ate it a little bit. I did have my elbow pads on but kind of slipped out. But didn't break anything, that's the important part. So it's a very nice chill trail. Um, there's a lot of little family bicyclists and they were really nice, surprisingly, because you know you go to Dallas or around the suburbs area, the bicyclists, bicyclists aren't very nice. Overall this would be a nice little fun trail to do if you're an experienced off-road e-skater. Uh, one wheel can definitely do it. It depends on your style. If you like something carvy, this isn't it because this was a decommissioned railroad track. And so a lot of it is a straight line. You know, part of it's paved, the rest of it is dirt. And like I said, you go a little further out, there are some uh, incomplete areas. You'll have to detour onto the road because the bridges aren't complete. This is a uh, very fun back and forth. I, I liked it, especially uh, on this nice Sunday afternoon. Yeah, Sunday afternoon. Some you can check out, you know, if you're in town, if you want to do a little off-roading. I enjoyed it. Thanks.